Our final visit brings us to the Tim and Krista Brown property on this windswept landscape northeast of Casper, Wyoming. Tim and Krista are just beginning their rural living experience with this landscape. Maybe you've noticed the programs on the first places have been underway for some years, and our conversations have been mostly about what they did and why. Here, we have a different situation, and so our conversation is more likely to talk about what their dreams and plans are, and how they might best implement the strategies it will take to achieve their dream. Tim and Krista, tell us what brought you to Country Living. Well, the first thing is about probably, what, eight years ago before um, we ever came to Casper, we went to uh, Montana and visited her, her dad and traveled all through Yellowstone and fished and just saw this part of the country. I'd never been out here before and I fell in love with it. Didn't even think about moving here then, but that was the first seed that got into my head about, you know, possibly coming out west. Just, just like the people, the atmosphere, the wide open spaces. It was, uh, it was just beautiful. Tell me a little bit about your property. Well, we're just north of Casper and we got uh, 20 acres. It's, um, we got horses. We, uh, we moved here uh, to Wyoming and originally wanted acres, but we couldn't find anything that we could afford. And then we finally found this. So uh, we moved here because my daughter has horses and uh, my wife got tired of driving out to see the horses all the time. So now we have a place where we can keep them. Uh, my son loves to ride his go-karts. We got room for playing ball, doing everything our kids love to do. Now out here in Casper, there's a lot of wind. Did you think about the wind when you designed where you're putting your barn and your garage and your corral? Well, when we built the barn, which was the first thing that we did, um, we faced it the way it's facing because when we came here, that's the way the wind blew every day. Uh, so we faced it that way and we had it near our water source because the well is right next to it. Of course, during the winter, the wind blew every which way. So we found out now, this year, we're probably gonna put a wind wall in front of it. As far as our garage goes, we built it right where it's at to help block wind off that side of the house. So when we sit on the back deck, the wind's not knocking us off the deck. Now, with all the things you've done here, do you have some additional plans for your property? Well, the, the main thing we want to do is we, we love to camp, we love to travel, and um, we want to try to fence in a bigger area where that we can let the horses out in maybe when we're not around uh, so they don't constantly have to have a neighbor come over and watch them 24 seven. Tell me about feeding and watering your horses. Well, we leave them in the corral because we found that when we moved here, that the, the corral they're in had plenty of this grass in it. It didn't take but a few months and it was all gone. So we were kind of worried if we let them out all the time that our whole property would look like that. So uh, we've decided even if we fence it, they're gonna stay in the corral uh, unless we let them out just for the few times we do go camping. We store hay in the barn, so we feed them hay. This winter we had to get hay cubes for a little while, but mainly we're buying hay for them. And uh, we have two 50 gallon water tanks that uh, we keep full. Now this is a fragile area with sandy soils and high wind. What were your thoughts about conserving the land and desirable vegetation here? Well, when we first bought the house, we noticed just how much was excavated around the house, how nothing was growing all, uh, at all. So that was kind of a concern for us. And then after we built the horse corral, it didn't take but a couple of weeks and it was gone. It was dirt, low grasses, nothing left. And then quite honestly, just looking at our, some of our neighbor's areas, um, they look bad. It looks like some of the people have just given up and they don't know what to do. And uh, we just, we didn't want that to happen to our house. So we've already tried a lot of stuff with landscape cloth and uh, some of the landscaping we've done, trying to keep everything natural on the plants we put in. And uh, we just don't want it to turn into sand. We want it to stay beautiful and natural. And uh, whatever we can do to keep it that way is what we want to do.